in the town of Hopkinsville, Kentucky, at the Hopkinsville Community College, they have built something very incredible. They have constructed King Arthur's Round Table. It's at a place called Literary Park. We're gonna check it out. This plaque tells us all we need to know. They've erected the round table and the sword in the stone in the hopes that the students of this community college will uphold the standards of King Arthur's chivalric code. Let's check this out. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's got writing on it. Oh man, who's, let's see, whoso pulleth out the sword of this stone and anvil is rightwise king born of all England. Oh my goodness. And here it is guys, the round table with a train in the background as it would be in Arthur's time. This is the round table of King Arthur with 24 of his named knights. And look, they're all named. King Arthur is designated. Sir Galahad, Sir Lancelot, Gawain, Percival, oh my goodness. This is the coolest. Oh, wow. Goosebumps. Mordred. Oh, Mordred is right next to King Arthur. If you know anything about Arthurian legend, Mordred was his illegitimate son that slew him. In the Mort de Arthur. At least I think that's right. Something that I've just noticed is that on the side of the table, it's got the direction, you know, north, south, east, west. So that's west. There's north. So Arthur does not sit in north. Which is interesting. Arthur sits at east, directly east. Now, I feel like I have to at least take a crack at this. I know how it's going to go, but I have to try. Here's our information. The Sword in the Stone was dedicated in 1974. The Round Table in 1975. Well, that's pretty awesome. So this stuff's been here for over 40 years. They've got some other neat things here, too. The Delphian Pholos Replica. Whatever that is, actually. Something from Delphi. Look at that. It's a replica of Roman ruins. Delphi? No, that's Greek. Yeah. Ah, whatever. And here they have a plaque designating that they have a Greco-Roman amphitheater, which is right over here. They've recreated an old, I guess you'd say ancient, Roman amphitheater where they would do plays, dramas, Look at that. This may go on record as the most awesome community college I've ever seen. To have just built this. Just for the students. To remind them what they're learning about. It's incredible. There's some pillars over here. I assume at some point these had some... Oh, it does have something on it. Looks like a broken sundial, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. But on this one, it's like a little cherub guy. 
What's up, little cherub guy? Just watching the play over there. Yeah. You have bird crap on your wing, buddy. So this place is incredible. Uh, it's a Saturday morning. It's early. Not a lot of people out yet. I guess the trains are out. But other than that, not a lot of people on the roads. There's no one here on the campus because it's Saturday. And it's just pleasant, very peaceful, and a little, just a little bit eerie in the best way. I'm so glad I took time to stop and check this out. I almost, I almost kept going. I was on the road and I was like, wow, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but it was. That was really cool. SerialAtMidnight.com Check out all the stuff we've got on the website, all the YouTube videos, lots of travel stuff, lots of weird old movie stuff. Just cool stuff. Just a little corner of awesome on the internet. Awesome, awesomeness. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.